Today, I've got an interesting story for you. A consignment client of Anthony Ferrer of the Timepiece Gentleman reached out to me and he wanted to tell his story of how he had been ripped off. He wanted to remain anonymous, but he gave me all of the details of his transaction with Anthony. He's even provided me with a copy of the consignment agreement, which I've been trying to get my hands on for the longest time. Later in the video, I'll share the actual consignment agreement and tips on how to avoid getting scammed by a con artist, confidence man, crook, swindler, they're all the same. So this guy who wants to remain anonymous, let's call him Mr. Pink. That's a Reservoir Dogs reference in case you didn't know. Great movie, by the way. Mr. Pink engaged with Anthony Ferrer to sell his watch on consignment. Now, this was from March of 2022, interestingly enough, which suggests to me that this bad business behavior by Anthony has been going on for quite a while now. As a side note, this is why it's important to speak up and tell your story so others don't get scammed, but I digress. So Mr. Pink made a deal with Anthony. Mr. Pink had a Gerard Perigo Laureato Skeleton 18 karat rose gold brand new. At the time, it was a high piece and probably worth about eighty dollars to $90,000. In exchange, Anthony would trade a Rolex Bluesy Gold Submariner and a Rolex Root Beer GMT and give Mr. Pink the difference. Those are beautiful watches as you can see here. They were represented to Mr. Pink as being mint complete, which in the watch world has a very specific meaning. Unpolished, box and papers, all the links and mint condition. Anthony was supposed to sell Mr. Pink's Gerard Perigo, then apply the sales price to Anthony's two Rolex watches, take his commission, then pay Mr. Pink the remaining balance. Sounds like a straightforward enough deal, right? When Mr. Pink received the Rolex watches, to a surprise, they had both been polished. The bluesy was missing the box and everything that went with a box. It also had a major nick on the first link above the 12 o'clock position, and it only came with the serial number card. To any watch collector, this in no way means complete or mint. The root beer was also polished and had two links missing and had no box and papers. Just so you know, the difference between a mint condition unpolished watch with box and papers can be thousands of dollars and even tens of thousands of dollars different for a watch that's been polished and without box and papers. Anthony did send the two Rolex watches, but keep in mind that was at a misrepresented condition. Mr. Pink thought of that as a good faith deposit towards the balance that was due to him. Mr. Pink complained about the condition of the Rolex watches. He and Anthony went back and forth via messages, which I've read, but Anthony offered no satisfactory resolution for Mr. Pink. It was around that time Anthony Ferrer of the Timepiece Gentleman ghosted Mr. Pink. He never heard anything more about the Gerard Perigo, if it had sold, and if so, for what price. In my opinion, this is a breach of the consignment agreement. Anthony just disappeared and blocked Mr. Pink on YouTube, insulted him publicly, and on his YouTube channel. Being quite livid, as you can imagine, Mr. Pink went to California to confront him face to face. Now, Mr. Pink isn't one to be easily intimidated. He was right there in front of Anthony, standing face to face on the front steps of the Timepiece Gentleman's South Rodeo Drive office. According to Mr. Pink, Anthony was apologetic and he swore up and down that he was gonna make it right with Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink, being the reasonable guy that he is, accepted it and then left. Mr. Pink never heard from him again. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. As promised, here's a copy of Mr. Pink's consignment agreement as evidence of the transaction. You can pause the video if you want to read the consignment agreement in detail. His personal information has been redacted for his privacy. But it does specifically say that Gentleman Timepieces is responsible for the watch and title or ownership of the watch remains in the name of Mr. Pink until payment is made. I don't know about you guys. I know Anthony says he's trying to dig his way out of this $5 million hole he's created for himself, but I don't see any way he can do that. I mean, who in the world would continue to do business with him? You know what they say, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. Well, it's not gonna happen again, or at least it shouldn't. By the way, I've just heard that Wesley Stokes is a victim as well, so guys, let's give the guy a break. Allow me to break down how a confidence scam works. Number one. Enter a smooth-talking salesperson. 
Imagine you're at a fancy event and someone shows up with a shiny briefcase. He opens it up and shows you some of the most beautiful luxury watches you've ever seen. They say they're a luxury watch expert and show you their YouTube channel. Number two, the big offer. The smooth talking salesperson notices you're wearing a really nice watch yourself and tells you that he can sell it for you at a market premium. After all, he's got market connections and a huge network because of his influencer status and huge social media presence. Number three, trust is built. Sure, why not you think to yourself, the individual showed you some very expensive watches, they seem very knowledgeable, they gave you a fancy business card and everything seems to check out. So you decide to hand over your watch. Number four, vanishing act. Weeks pass, every time you call the number, there's no answer. One day you decide to visit the address on the card and it's an empty store. The smooth talking salesperson vanished with your watch. The moral of the story with these con artist scams is that they all work fundamentally the same way. Temper your expectations and understand that you typically won't get full market value for your watch or for whatever else you're selling. Work with a trusted and established dealer. There are some very good ones out there and understand that they need to take their cut for selling your watch. Greed can sometimes cloud our judgment, making it easier for someone to fall victim to a scam. I hope you found the video helpful Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.